are we playing today, Toddy? We're playing River by Liam Bridges. Cool. Yeah. Uh, really, really cool song. And uh, we're kind of looking at, at it uh, from the studio recording perspective because uh, if you look on the, the actual video, he's not using a capo. So this, the guitar is in standard tuning, but on his actual music video, he's playing this as a bar chord, as an A-flat major bar chord. C sharp major there as well. Okay. But we're not doing that today? We're not doing that today, no. We're going to stick with the capo and just talk about our open chords. If okay. you do want to learn about bar chords, though, what could you do? Oh, that's true. If you want to learn about bar chords, you can head on over to whaleguitar.com and uh, check out. Uh, there's a few different courses there. We have our Whaling with Chords course over there, which covers every single chord from uh, open to power chords to bar chords to you know dominant chords and so forth. Um, or the 80-20 course, which uh, covers all of, lots of different chords in lots of different ways. That's more of a beginner. I want to get a, more of a rounded education in guitar. Um, but for today, we're going to look at this song. Uh, we've only got three chords in the whole song. Uh, so if the capo is on fret four, we're going to be looking at an E major chord shape, which would be like this. Okay. Now, uh, some of the stuff I saw online, they, they write down that uh, he's playing an A sus two, which would look like this. With that, but I'm going to add my pinky finger here and make it an A major chord because he definitely plays that note. Whether he, I've seen him uh, online, I was watching him, it looks like he kind of maybe even flattens his third finger across these two, or even just is uh, muting this string here with a fing with uh, his second finger and I'm playing those ones there. You just got to be careful not to lift that if you do it that way, not to lift it up because then it becomes an A7 shape. Okay, so that's why I think it's wise just to play it as an A major chord. I'm using my second, third, and fourth. Some people prefer using their first, second, third. The reason why I use my second, third, and fourth here is getting back to E major is as simple as taking the pinky off and lifting those two fingers back up, adding the first finger back on. So we have E major, A major, and we're also going to be playing an F sharp minor shape, which would be a bar chord on what we're going to consider the second fret because uh, once our capo is on, we consider this to be fret one. Barred completely down every single string and our third and fourth finger on the uh, fifth and fourth string. There's our F sharp minor shape chord. Okay, so there's three chords again. E major, A major, F sharp minor. Okay. That's it, the whole song? That's it, whole song, Ooh. yeah. Nice. So our intro is just uh, rotating between E and the A. So it's like, uh, he strums this um, from the live footage I saw, just his thumb, thumb and finger sort of thing. So, and it's simply uh, like just a down up, but there are some subtle accents on some some of the some of the strums. Okay, so if I'm just going down up with no accents, it would sound like this. And the song does not sound like that. The song sounds more like. Okay, so the the ones that are max any kind of like a one. Yeah. So one. Like kind of where the snare, the back beat would be if there was a drummer in, in the in the song. So, uh, 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 uh. so those upstrokes, I might accent them a little bit with my thumb. So I'm going. playing this A chord is squishing these three fingers into one fret. It's quite high up the fretboard, yeah, so the right. frets get closer together. Because that... you have to keep the capo like right in the middle, could you move it back? Well, no, you start? can keep it back. you just got to be careful it's not too far back, because if it's too far back, you'll get some buzzing. Yeah, okay. You know, so if you bring it further forward, it doesn't have to be dead. It'd be, ideally, it'd be close up here, Yeah. because then you'll get a nice Better firm sound. pressure of the strings on the fret here, yeah. but then that does make, you know, your hand, when you're playing some open chords, it's kind of be in the way. Yeah, true. So you can kind of slide it back a bit, just make sure, like, there's no buzzing. Yeah. So that was our intro, just rotating from E to A. Now our uh, our verse is exactly the same. So it's a, I, I'm not 100% sure of the, the melody here, so I'm just going to kind of play through it. So.
simply rotate between these. Chorus, we're going to the F sharp minor here. So this is a Won't be your sleigh clear, F sharp minor Take me to your river Back to E, ah Go back to the F sharp minor. Ooh, take me to your river. I wanna know. Kind of occasionally he'll, he'll add like the little finger when he's playing the E chord down the bottom here. This will be on what we're going to consider fret two on the second string. It might be. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just a little pinky there. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the uh, for the A or oh, the E minor. The E one. Yeah. I think it's in the verse two. Uh, verse two is the same as verse. Yeah, exactly the same. And then we go into another chorus, which is exactly the same. We'll go to the second chorus. Um, We're going to ring out, and this is the part where the backing vocal comes in. I wanna know, wanna go, wanna go. Rest. We're just ringing it out. Two, two, three. The A chord. I wanna know, wanna know, wanna know. Two, oh, one, two. Back to E. Three. I wanna go, wanna go, wanna go. We slowly start strumming back in here. To our chorus to finish off. Take me to your river. We're going to ring out on the A. And it kind of does some picking stuff. So. Was awesome. <laughs> so obviously, like it kind of shows you, right? Like, um, I mean, he's got such a, a beautiful voice. So, like, when someone like me is just like, well, I not really know what I'm doing there. <laughs> it's kind of like, like, oh, it's kind of there's not much to it. But when you listen to the recording, it's like, man, the dude's voice, you know, carries that song so well, and his backup vocals too, like. Really, really nice. Really, really, really. Is that why you didn't song. want to like kind of sing the the, the versey parts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really know the melody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, man, I'm not going to try and do sing like that, like uh, him. Yeah, but that's the song. It's really straightforward. It's kind of it's kind of cool because it shows you like, man, you don't have to play a lot to get like a really cool sound and, and a feel and an emotion across. It's um it comes through not just in your playing but in the if you can sing and and, and create some really nice lyrics. Um, that's like, where the magic even like is. the 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 part where the backup singer it's just like just that one strum that rings out yeah yeah wanna know, wanna know, wanna... Ooh. yeah it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool that's it yeah so uh, let us know if you want any uh if you have any suggestions or any comments let us know we'd love to hear from you and uh keep free e ebook too free ebook thank yeah. you chad yeah uh, there's, we have a free ebook. There is a link in the description to that, um, and that will cover all of the kind of fundamental, foundational things of playing the guitar. So, from chords um, to essential scales. Um, I think it's called Wailing Essentials. Yeah, yes, yeah, it is. yeah. We just made it up today, so. <laughs> so uh, go check it out. There's uh, lots of really great information in that that might help you. So uh, yeah, and we'll catch you in the next video. We're thinking down bridges or something. <laughs> Been far from you, ten thousand miles gone. 
<laughs> oh, I want to come to you again. Every part of me. 